Today's social media segment is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health System. Your health is our legacy. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. Since 1911, the Pierre Parts Store has been your one-stop shop. Family owned and operated for four generations, the Pierre Parts Store has served the community by providing groceries, hardware, home products, and much more, including a full service lumber yard. Now we've added the Thibodeau Store to the family with the same values and service we've delivered for over 100 years. The Pierre Parts Store and the Thibodeau Store, our family serving your family. All right, we're back here on the Bayou Time set. I'm Martin Foss, along with the First Lieutenant of the Terrebonne Parish Sheriff's Department, Blake Tabor. Lieutenant, good to see you. Good to see you too, Martin. Thanks for having me. I know you're a big baseball fan, so aside from all this, I know you've been watching all the teams trying <laughs> yep. to make their way through. That's right. Go Tigers. I know you got an athlete coming up, so I'm sure you all watch it together. Yes, sir. All right, let's talk about the uh, press release you all sent out involving the arrest of a HOMA man with a motor vehicle incident. Yeah, so this is a very unique case. You know, we come on quite often and talk about uh, the uniqueness of several of our cases, but this is certainly the first time I've ever reported on a case such as this. So on May 23rd, uh, shortly before 12 o'clock, our criminal patrol division was made aware of a traffic incident on Martin Luther King in the area of Westside Boulevard where a driver reported that he had a firearm pulled on him by another driver on at least two different occasions during the course of the incident. Mm -hmm. So of course, anytime that happens, um, you know, that's a very serious implication and we sprang into action on that, ultimately making contact with the caller. Uh, the caller was able to provide a very good description of the driver as well as the vehicle. And ultimately through further investigation that led us to the 200 block of Englewood Way. Uh, ultimately, once we got to that location, of course, the Criminal Patrol Division was able to quickly see a vehicle matching the description provided by the caller, as well as a male subject standing near the vehicle who also matched the description. Uh, once they identified and came into contact with that male, he was identified as Devin Dash. You see him photographed here, who's a 31-year-old male of HOMA. Um, ultimately, he was taken into custody after officers witnessed a firearm on the front passenger seat of that particular vehicle, which also matched the description of the weapon used during the incident. So ultimately, you know, we compiled all this evidence and that led to a search warrant of the vehicle along with the address on Inglewood Way. And, you know, of course, our criminal patrol division found some very unique items within that vehicle, some of which were at least two operable 3D printed firearms along with numerous 3D printed firearm parts, as well as equipment used to print those particular firearms and multiple boxes of 3D printing filament, which you see photographed here. Um, again, you know, this is not every day that we recover this type of evidence or see this type of crime. Uh, so ultimately that, you know, garnered some additional uh, investigation in which our investigators from the intelligence division was called in and they were able to link Dash to another address in the 700 block of Winrock Drive. Um, ultimately, that led to a secondary search warrant where, again, they found at least one operable firearm on that property. So that culminated at the end of the investigation with Devin Dash being arrested for two counts of aggravated assault with a firearm, illegal carrying of a firearm in the presence of CDS, possession of firearm by convicted felon, possession of CDS-2, possession of CDS-1, possession of marijuana, possession of drug paraphernalia, along with some unrelated warrants. And those drug charges were generated from when they came into contact with him, they found some illegal drugs on his person. Mm -hmm. So he's ultimately still uh, jailed at our parish facility on a $413,000 bond. Let me ask you this. We were in a meeting this morning when they were telling me about these printed Weapons, and I, I've never heard that. In all my days, I said, wait, 3D printed weapon? I said, 
So they he got arrested because he pulled it on somebody and it looked like a weapon. They said, no, they actually work. They actually work. That's incredible. It is incredible. And, you know, with technology being what it is, you know, it's always a good thing until it's used for something in this set of circumstances, mm -hmm. you know, and it could be used for something very dangerous and something very bad. Um, but, yeah, you know, this is the first time, again, that to my knowledge that our agency has come across um, this type of evidence to this magnitude. You know, uh, I know our agents with the Narcotics Division and along with the Criminal Intelligence Division, I know they see a lot of unique things out on the street mm -hmm. during the course of their investigations. Um, but this is a very big score. I don't know if I've ever had a news report where somebody was printing guns. Yeah, this is the first that I know yeah. of that I've released through our agency. It's alarming. It really is. It, it really is. All right, I know y'all have a sheriff tax sale coming up on a, on a not so good note for people to have to pay taxes, but you got to get those taxes in, right? Yep, absolutely. We got to get those taxes in, um, and that is going to be held. You can find all that information listed on our Facebook page. You know, we've had a, a lot of interest in this. Uh, through Facebook comments, and, you know, the best thing to do is just to follow us on our Facebook page, uh, and all that information will be there. Yeah, and on a note, I know we have a little time, but I just want to commend you because I've been around for a long time, and I've seen a lot of press conferences where people get up and they introduce people about to give the store. You do a very good job at that. You're very much at ease. And I didn't want to go through too many body times without commending you. Sure. Uh, you do a fantastic job with that. It seems like it comes pretty natural to you. Well, I try, you know, and, and it, it all boils down to really highlighting our agency and what we do here. Uh, I think all of our agents do an incredible job, every division within the sheriff's office. And, you know, we're trying to bring and highlight a level of professionalism to let people know that we're not just a traditional law enforcement agency, mm -hmm. that we we can compete with anyone across the nation. Yeah, and y'all y'all do a great job of that, so I just wanted to make sure I did that. I appreciate and that. And remind Thank everybody, again, Sheriff's tax sale will be on June 12, 2024. All delinquent taxes are due prior to this date. So, First Lieutenant, good to see you again, and uh, keep that boy uh, thinking Nichols, LSU, Tulane, Man, somewhere we're, close. We're certainly hoping. Somewhere close, right? Certainly hoping. All right, good to see you, Blake. You too. Thank All right, you. we'll take a short break. We'll be back with more, a lot more right here on Bayou Time. Today's social media segment is brought to you by South Louisiana Bank. It's better when we bank together. Weights and Downer, attorneys at law. Terrebonne Ford, built Ford Tough. 